Hi everybody, it's Dizzy and today I have got what I hope will be an entertaining video for you guys. Um, I was sent a promo pack of the Darling Girl Holiday Collection and I'm going to be showing you guys swashes of it and kind of talking about my experiences with it. I've used it twice now and um, I really like it. I feel like the quality of the shadows is very consistent to what you can expect from Darling Girl. It's um, predominantly indie loose pigments and then there's two lip products but all around I've been really pretty impressed with everything it's like I said very consistent so if you like their formula you'll like this collection um, before I get any further into that let me also say in the interest of full disclosure this was sent to me but I'm not being paid to make this video I do promote for Darling Girl so I get advanced samples and stuff to be able to show you guys the product but all my opinions are my own and if you decide you want to order anything I do have an affiliate code which is Dizzy8 which I can link down below for you guys um, also to address the elephant in the room, I'm wearing a wig. This is the Vela Vela Alexa wig in the color 1B, which is basically just a short black um, pixie cut wig. Um, and it's okay, I like this wig. I feel like I could do a little bit to make it work better for me, but it's still better than what my hair looks like under this right now. My hair is real bad today. So. The idea behind the collection is it's called the DG Double Feature and it's based on, inspired by two movies that mean a lot to Susan, the founder of Darling Girl. So one is Love Actually and the other is Die Hard. So um, both are, in my opinion, unconventional but holiday movies. Um, Die Hard is a movie that I personally watch every year around Christmas too. Um, and then Love Actually is a movie I've only seen once. I'm not a romantic comedy person, but I feel like the actors that are in this film really kind of elevate it and take a genre that I don't really like and turn it into a movie that I actually enjoy. So, and if you are a Love Actually fan, the names on these are really, really cute. Actually, the names all the way around the collection are really good. So there are loose pigments and there are also a couple lip products. So I'm going to swatch them with brushes and using primer. But the regular ones, I'm going to be using embellished eye primer. And I'm going to swatch the Love Actually shades first. So we're going to start with... Um, let's go get the shit kicked out of us by Love. There's a little cussing in this, sorry guys. Um, which is, uh, I tried this color yesterday. It is a beautiful purple. It's a little cool toned, but it's really pretty. This whole collection is more on the cool toned side, to be very honest. So that is that. It's a beautiful, like, plum with a little bit of a cooler undertone. So that's Let's Go Get the Shit Kicked Out of Us by Love. I like never curse on this channel, so it's so weird. Um, the Total Agony of Being in Love. This is another purple. And if you are like a mauve purple fan, this collection will probably really appeal to you. So this is a beautiful, matte, medium, slightly warm purple. And I used this as well yesterday, and it was really nice. Um, the next one is Love Actually is All Around, which is a taupe, glittery taupe shade. And I used this today, if you can see it at all, as a highlight. I don't know if you can see it, but I did use it as a highlight today. And it's really pretty as a highlight. It's also nice as like a lid shade or like an inner corner shade. Um, the next is, oh my God, it's Rick Grimes. Um, and uh, let's see. It's a little bit more gray undertoned, cool toned than the color above it. But like I said, if you are a cool toned makeup fan or you look good in mauves and like purples, this would be a good collection for you. These are not my absolute best colors, but the nice thing about it is the die hard colors are some of my best colors. So if you're a warm color eyeshadow fan, this holiday collection has you covered too. 
So the last one of the Love Actually ones is to me, you are perfect. And this is a gorgeous pewter gold. Isn't that beautiful? I think it's really pretty. So that is those. And then there are the Die Hard colors and I'm wearing some of these today. And this primer, by the way, is really good. This is the embellished primer from them. I have pretty dry lids, so this is great for me. I don't know how it would work if you were a little bit more oily, because I can't speak to that. But if you have dry eyelids, this keeps my, liner, my shadow on all day and it doesn't crease. So just extra bonus review. The first one is Ho Ho Ho. And uh, this is sort of a, a red with a brown undertone. This color I have in my crease and the outer corner of my eye today. And it is a matte brown with some like red brown, basically, like burnt red. There you go. So then there's the detonators. That is the gold you see right in the center of my lid. So let me show you guys that one. There is the detonators. I love this gold, it's really pretty. It's a very, um, it's got a lot of orangey undertones to it. It's an extremely warm gold, which I think is really pretty. Um, then there is Yippee Kaya -yay, Yay Mother, mm -hmm. you know the movie, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, this, this is actually the color I'm probably most excited about, which it will probably not even show up on me. But what it is, is this, perfect transition shade for my skin tone. Can you even see it? Maybe not, it's right there. Um, I have this all over my lid and then blending up, uh, blending out my crease. But it is a sort of a matte, slightly yellow undertoned beige. And for my light olive skin tone, it is pretty much perfect as a base shade, perfect as a transition shade. Um, I could see this also being a nice highlight on a deeper skin tone. I mean, that could be good. And then um, finally, uh, of the die hard stuff, um, of the eye stuff, is why does this keep happening to us? I have this on the innermost corner of my eye. And this is a really beautiful shade. It is another sort of taupey color, but this one is actually a taupe with a, can you see it? Green reflect. So it's a beautiful, beautiful, complicated color. And like I said, I just have it that a little tiny bit on either inner corner of the eye. And then there is a bonus shade. And the bonus shade, I think you only get if you buy the entire um, double feature and it is a very Alan Rickman Christmas because the number one thing these two movies have in common is the immortal, fantastic, amazing Alan Rickman. Um, it's certainly my favorite part of both movies. So it is a blue glitter and uh, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color. So I like the range of this. I feel like there is something for everyone and I feel like the colors are all really, really beautiful and well thought out. Um, and then we have two lip products. I'm wearing one right now, which is Giant Teddy Bear, which is a pucker paint. Um, and this is kind of a dark neutral, my lips but better. There's a little bit of sparkle to it. This is not the kind of lip color I usually gravitate towards, but now that it's on, I do kind of really like it. And actually with the black hair, I think it looks pretty good. Um, so I will go ahead and swatch the pucker paint for you. So there we go. It's a nice deep nude shade and that's giant teddy bear. And that's part of the die hard side. And then the other product for the lip in this is all I want for Christmas, which is the love actually side. And it is a balm gloss. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's a balm gloss and I love balm glosses. They're the only lip gloss I can actually tolerate because I actually don't like lip gloss, but I like balm gloss. So it is another neutral. It is warmer, more brown and um, much more opaque than most glosses are. So it'd be a really lovely everyday color. Um, I have to wear both these um, shades with a liner for them to look good on me because 
I need lip definition because I'm 40 and I need lip definition. But that is, but they're both very wearable, very pretty colors. And it really does look nice with all the other colors in the collection. So there we go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this was enjoyable. Are there any of these colors that speak to you? What about the two movies that this collection is based on? Do you like Love Actually? Do you like Die Hard? Are there holiday movies that are unconventional holiday movies that you watch that, um, you know, could add to that list? For me, Gremlins is an unconventional holiday movie that I watch almost every year. And then a new one added last year was The Ice Harvest with Oliver Platt and John Cusack and the amazing Billy Bob Thornton. And uh, it's dark and it's a comedy, but it's set at Christmas and I really enjoy it. So yeah, tell me your favorite unconventional Christmas movies and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!